restoring the father's name Yahweh. Restoring the Messiah's name Yahshua. Re-establishing Torah covenant. Preparing the bride. The revealing of the sons of Elohim. Prophecy. The return of Malchizedek, the royal priesthood. Elijah's school of the prophets. The Way Ministries. A return to the Philadelphian spirit. Revelation chapter 12, verse 1. Now a great sign, a marked wonder of a ceremonial event, appeared as to gaze with wide open eyes at something remarkable in heaven, a woman that is a wife, clothed and arrayed with the sun as rays of light, with the moon in its brilliancy and attractiveness, under her feet as a footstool, and on her head a garland, twined wreath as a badge of royalty of twelve stars. Then being with child in the womb, she cried out in labor, in pain as a vexing torment, to give birth a burden on her shoulders. And another sign that is a marked wonder of a ceremonial event appeared in heaven. Behold, a great, fearful, fiery red that is a flame-colored dragon, an extraordinary and fascinating sight, having seven heads to seize and to take hold, and ten horns like hair on the head, and seven diadems on his heads that have taken hold of power. His tail drew as a third behind him and took for himself a third of the stars as strewn across the sky of heaven and threw with violence them to the earth. And the dragon, and an extraordinary and fascinating sight, stood before the woman who is the wife, who was ready with expectation for this special event of suffering to give birth as the mother to produce a seed to devour her child as soon as it was born. She bore a male strong to expiate sin through atonement child, who was to rule as a tending shepherd of all the nations with a rod that is a baton of royalty of iron. And her child was caught up to Yahweh and his throne, which is a stately seat of power. Then the woman who is a wife coming into being fled and escaped by running away into the wilderness, a lonesome, desolate, and solitary place, where she has a place of a large locality prepared by adjusting it to fit by Yahweh that they should feed and provide strength, stiffening, fattening, pampering, and rearing up with nourishment her there 1,260 days or 42 months. And war broke out in heaven, Michael, who is an archangel, and his angels fought by engaging in warfare with the dragon, who is a fabulous type of servant, and dragon and his angels fought. And they did not prevail with enough force, nor was a place of a limited occupancy found for them in heaven any longer. So the great fearful dragon was cast out with violence, that serpent that is sly, cunning, and is artfully malicious of old, from the earliest stages of the history of the world, called by his surname, the devil, that acted as the third person to be a slanderer, and Satan, who is the accuser, who deceives by causing them to roam away from the safety of truth, the whole world he cast with violence to the earth, and his angels were cast out violently with him. Then I heard a loud, fearful voice to articulate a disclosure, saying, with a divine expression of Messiah in heaven, Now, salvation from the Deliverer Messiah, and the strength that is miraculous, and the kingdom of royalty of our Yahweh, and the power and privilege of superhuman delegated influence of His Messiah, 
who was the anointed one smeared with oil to a consecrated office for religious service, have come. For the accuser, as one who takes legal action against the assembly of our brethren that comes from the same womb, who accused by bringing legal action on them before the presence of our Yahweh day and night has been cast down with violence. And they overcame and prevailed to the point of victory over him by the blood that is an atonement of the lamb that is a lambkin male, and by the word that is the divine expression of Messiah, of their testimony, which is a judicial testimony as a martyr. And they did not love in a social or moral sense their lives to the death. Therefore rejoice, be of good frame of mind, O heavens, and you who dwell as Yahweh did in the tabernacle of old in them. Woe at last grief to the inhabitants of the earth and the sea. For the devil, who is the false accuser, has come down to you, having great fearful wrath of fierce passionate breathing of smoke for the purpose of slaughter, because he knows that he has a short time, which is in due season. When the dragon, an extraordinary fascinating sight, saw that he had been hurled with violence to the earth, he pursued by pressing forward with persecution the woman, that is a wife, who had given birth as the mother to produce a seed to the male child, strong to expiate sin through atonement. But the woman, who is a wife coming into being, was given two wings of a great eagle, from its wing flight driven by blowing air, that she might fly into the place of the wilderness that is lonesome, desolate, and solitary, to her place of a given opportunity where she is nourished with strength to stiffen, fatten, pamper, and rear up for a time which is in due season and opportunity, and times and a half time from the presence of the serpent that is sly, cunning, and is artfully malicious. So the serpent that is sly, cunning, and is artfully malicious spewed with violence water out of his mouth, which is the front edge of a weapon, like a flood after the backside of the woman who is a wife coming into being, that he might cause her to be carried away with the feeling of being overwhelmed by the flood. But the earth helped by giving relief to the woman who is a wife coming into being, and the earth opened its mouth and swallowed up and devoured entirely the flood, which the dragon had spewed with violence out of his mouth, which is the front edge of a weapon. And the dragon, which is an extraordinary and fascinating sight, was enraged and provoked to the point of exasperation with the woman who is a wife coming into being, and he went, departing, following from behind, to make war for a single or series of encounters with the rest of the remaining ones left behind of her offspring, who were seed sown, scattered, and kept over for planting, who keep a watch to guard from loss or injury like a fortress or full military lines of apparatus, the commandments of Torah, of Yahweh, the supreme deity, and have testimony, a judicial witness of Messiah, Yahshua, Messiah. 